Hi guys, I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan hot chocolate mix and then we're going to do a not so vegan topping and we're going to turn this into s'mores hot chocolate, which is amazing. So I'm going to start off by heating my milk. I'm using soy milk today. And um, yeah, so this is for my camera lady. This is for me. I just want a little portion today. But of course, you know, you use as much milk as you would like. So that's going to go onto the stove in order to heat up. Meanwhile, we're going to put together our mix. It's really fast. I have a mason jar here lined with a funnel because mason jars are hip. And I have two of those. <laughs> and into it, I'm going to put half a cup of cocoa powder. This is the unsweetened, you know, best quality possible cocoa powder. And then I'm going to add to that a whole bunch of spices, which are going to give this beautiful, wonderful, deep flavor. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of ginger, three to four tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg which I'm going to grate fresh right now. At this point, you can either put the lid on and give it a shake, or as I like to do, just give it a little bit of a whisk with my adorable whisk. And the cornstarch is really nice in this because it'll thicken it just slightly. So you'll end up with like a European style hot chocolate, which is awesome. And funnel goes back on and into it, I'm going to add one cup of chopped dark chocolate which is going to melt when heated and be thick and rich and delicious. So we put our lid on and we give it a shake. And then all we have to do now is wait for our milk to heat up. And you want to put in around, you know, three spoonfuls or so of this mix per cup of milk. But of course, you know, do this to taste. So start off with like two or three spoonfuls. The chocolate will melt. You'll give it a taste and you'll know whether to add more or less. You can also not put sugar in this and just sweeten it to taste with maple syrup, you know, or agave if that's what you prefer. I have my hot chocolate on the stove. I whisked it until it thickened and became really nice and creamy. For Ruth's hot chocolate, I put mini marshmallows in a circle on a silicone lined baking sheet. And for mine, I put my mini marshmallows on top of a graham cracker. This went under the broiler, which I had on high heat, and it only cooked for like 45 seconds until they're beautiful and golden brown. And then I just put them on top of our hot chocolates. On Ruth's, I added some crushed graham crackers and some shaved chocolate. And on mine, I put it straight on and then added a little bit more chocolate. How was it? Really good! Yeah. Well, you didn't try it yet. Cheers! <laughs> I thought you were trying. Cheers! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Merry Christmas! It's Happy not. Hanukkah! <laughs> Happy <And> Kwanzaa! <laughs> it's not the holidays. We're yes, just, it is. I just it's reading singing. week. Come on. <laughs> Hola! Hola at your boy. Mmm, mm -hmm. it's good, eh? Mmm. -hmm. So And good. the marshmallows on top, really. Mmm. They make it s'more delicious. Do you want some more? I want some more. Mmm. This is amazing. Thick, creamy, chocolatey, full of all different flavors. I hope that you give it a try. We hope that you give it a try. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos every Thursday. Click like if you like this video and if you think that we're adorable. <laughs> That's some guilt. If you think that we're adorable, you better like this video and subscribe. Recipes can be found on RavinasKitchen.com. Links in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye!